everyone. My name is Alex. I'm a co-founder of Geyser, which is a platform for on-chain incentives. We act as both an investment platform where people can find pools to invest in and a developer tool where products are able to deploy secure and configurable incentive programs without using any code. I'm here on the website at geyser.io where you can find more information about the project, the team, our audit, and so on. Geyser offers two types of products at the moment, geysers and fountains. Both are variations on liquidity mining. Our mission with offering these products is to empower teams building in DeFi to customize their incentives in a way that is safe for everyone involved. Let's go over to our web, our web app to illustrate. Once you connect to your wallet and look at the web app, we're on Ethereum mainnet at the moment, will be available on Polygon in early July, you'll see these different tabs on the side. When I click on the Discover tab, I see some platform statistics like TVL and our token price, as well as different pools that are available to invest in. A pool is a name for all the different incentive programs we offer. As I've mentioned, we currently have two types of pools, geysers and fountains. A geyser is a competitive liquidity mining offering, where users stake ERC-20 tokens to earn ERC-20 rewards. They can earn certain multipliers over time or by spending the geyser token that affects the pool availability of rewards and it offers a competitive experience for staking and farming. An example is the Vesper Wrapped Ether Geyser. You can see this here, where by clicking on it, you can open up a page to view the staking and unstaking options. In this geyser, I'm able to stake the UniV2 LP token of Vesper Wrapped Ether Pair here in the stake portion, where I can type in how many tokens I'd like to stake. I don't actually have any of these tokens right now, but if I had several of them from staking on Uniswap, I take them and hit the stake button to deposit them into the contract. Very importantly, this money and these tokens are always yours. You can always unstake them and return the entire amount back to yourself. While they're staked, however, they'll be earning rewards in Vesper. Over time, you'll be earning Vesper at a, re at a reward rate proportional to how much of the pool you own based on your stake amount. After a certain amount of time, you'll earn larger and larger time multipliers. In the Vesper case, over an entire year, your multiplier will go from 1x to 3x. So the longer you hold, you'll earn larger rewards. And when you want to take out your Uniswap LP tokens, you can type in the amount that you'd like to unstake, apply a geyser multiplier to increase your rewards as well, and unstake those tokens to re return back your uh, uni LP position as well as all rewards that you've accrued so far. In this way, you can invest in a competitive geyser where the larger multiplier you get, the more tokens you'll be taking from this global pool uh, and, and in maximizing the rewards you earn over time. One thing we learned about geysers from our V1, which operated in the same competitive manner, is that some people prefer to have a more set it and forget it liquidity mining experience. So going back to our Discover tab, we have in V2 a concept now of something called a fountain. Fountains are friendly pools that allow you to stake and unstake to earn rewards without ever being affected by the actions of others. So people earning larger multipliers on their stakes won't affect the amount of rewards that you're owed. An example of a fountain might be the Centitrust fountain, which is just launched after our V2, where similarly you will stake a Uniswap LP token for Centitrust and wrapped ETH pair. You can stake that here uh, as much as you'd like. But during the staking process is actually where you set your multipliers, where you can spend your geyser to increase uh, the virtual amount staked. So you might stake 10 Uniswap LP tokens and earn a larger multiplier on your geyser multiplier. And once you do this effectively, instead of staking 10, in this case, you'd be staking 24.8 because you'd be earning a 2.48 times multiplier. And this is just by spending geyser on the pool. And this geyser that you spend uh, is actually sent to the pool and distributed to the owners of the pool. So in this case, Centitrust and some to uh, a token redistribution mechanic, as well as the, uh, geyser, uh, the geyser Foundation's treasury. So you set your geyser at the beginning. And once you submit the stake, Similarly, you'll earn rewards over time. Now, one different thing about fountains is that instead of earning a time multiplier, you actually have a vesting schedule. 
And the way a vesting schedule works is that if you unstake before your vesting schedule is completely uh, earned, you will accrue a, a penalty. And what I mean by that is that if you stake at uh, on day one, and in this case, in the, in the set to trust case, you stake for 90 days, uh, you'll have 100% vested. But if you only stake for 45 days, which is half of this 90 day period you see in the vesting schedule, you'll only vest halfway across your vesting schedule. So in this case, from 10% to 100%, that's a 90% difference, you'll actually be staking at a 55% vesting at 45 days. And that means that when you unstake, you'll only receive 55% of your rewards because you're unstaking early. You're not staking as long as the Center Trust project wants you to. As long as you stake for the entire period, you'll earn 100% of your rewards and will maximize your earnings because you're taking the action that Center Trust is really incentivizing, which is providing liquidity in their pool for a long period of time. In the same way as a geyser, when you unstake in a fountain, you'll receive back all of your staked position, as well as the recruit rewards that you're owed uh, due to the amount of time you stayed in there and the amount of uh, stake tokens that you initially put in. You can stake in as many pools as you'd like to at a given time. And so going to the Discover tab, we have an entirely searchable tool where you can find tools, uh, find pools based on their APR, based on how long the pool will be running for, what tokens you're interested in, whether or not they're fountains or geysers, uh, if they're currently active or they'll be active in the future. You can sort and search to find investment opportunities that you're really excited about. And under the dashboard, right now on, on mainnet in this wallet, I don't have any current stakes. However, you'll see a list of all your stakes, how much money is being held in the platform, and really be able to create investment theses around how you want to spend your money in the geyser universe, earning rewards with the capital you have available to you. On the other side, projects have a lot of power and capabilities to deploy pools with no code and very, very low effort, completely configurable and completely on-chain uh, whenever they'd like to. And this is done via the Distribute tab. And I'm going to switch over to the COVID network to make this uh, really easy for me to show how someone can deploy a pool really quickly. A person or project may want to launch a pool for a lot of different reasons. They might want to provide liquidity. They might want to set up a vesting schedule for the team. They might want to do a token distribution, maybe an incentive program for a new product they're offering. Using Geyser makes it really easy to do this whenever you have a need for some sort of incentive program on chain. Going to the Distribute tab is exactly the place where you can manage all these different use cases inside of the Geyser platform and launch new pools with a few clicks. I'm going to walk you through what it takes to launch a fountain today, and it's really, really simple. Go to create a pool and choose what type of pool you'd like to offer. We've walked through today what a Geyser is and what a fountain is, and for simplicity, we're going to walk forward with a, with a fountain today and select this as our option. The next step is going to uh, be about choosing what tokens we'd like to stake, we'd like users to stake, and what tokens we want users to be rewarded in. You do this by putting the addresses of the relevant ERC20s into these input fields. For the pool that I'm going to de deploy right now, we're going to use a dummy token called STK or stake token as a token that our users will stake to uh, earn rewards. And a reward token will simply be wrapped ether. We're going to give out some wrapped ether on Coven for free as a part of staking in this pool. Once I've selected those, I can confirm that these tokens are the ones that I actually want to distribute. And I'll hit next to select a vesting schedule. As we talked about, vesting schedules uh, allow you to set up the incentive for how long you want people to hold their stake inside the pool. In this case, maybe I want people to hold, 300, to hold their tokens in the pool for 365 days. And we'll start them off at a 50% vesting schedule, ending at 100%. And what this means that is that on day one, if they unstake immediately after staking, they'll earn, only earn 50% of their accrued rewards. If they stay for half a year, they'll end up accruing 75% of their uh, earned rewards. And staying the full 365 days, they'll have access to 100% of their accrued rewards. They can continue staking after that, and maintain that 100% access to their funds, but the vesting schedule really allows you to incentivize people to stay for a longer amount of time. And this is completely configurable by selecting the number of days and what how you want the vesting schedule to actually be earned over that time. Continuing on, 
uh, we can confirm that everything we want uh, is set up the way we want it. So our staking token is SDK. We recommend that you do check that this address is correct. And that wrapped ether is our reward token. Again, check that this address is correct. And that our vesting schedule over 365 days goes from 50% to 100%. And simply hitting deploy will bring up MetaMask where I'll be able to confirm the deployment of my pool, which will actually create the contracts on the blockchain that uh, represent this pool mechanic. So I'll hit confirm and we'll wait for this to be submitted. And once it finishes, we can go to our dashboard to see our new pool. And as you can see, uh, we're actually just waiting right now for a moment for it to complete. These are a couple of my previous, uh, oh, distribute. These are some of my previous pools. We'll wait for it to finish. Success in the top right. I'll refresh. And we now have a third pool created just now, which is unfunded. This is our fountain that we just created using stake token as our staking token and wrapped ether as a rewards. To fund the pool and put rewards in it, I can click on it and see that my pool has currently no funding schedules available. What's really amazing about the Geyser platform is you can set multiple funding schedules for your token distribution. If you want to distribute 1,000 wrapped ether over the first month and then 500 wrapped ether over the next uh, three months after that, you can set two funding schedules to distribute starting at a certain date, ending at a certain date with a certain amount uh, available that will automatically uh, distribute the correct amount of funds over the correct period of time. And to do so, Simply click the add funding and the amount of uh, money that you'd like to add. I'll add 0 0.1 wrapped ether uh, here on COVID into COVID, not COVID, COVID into the uh, the pool and select a start date, which will be today, right now, and a distribution period of, let's say, uh, 30 days for this first month. And oh, I didn't select the date. I'll hit OK. Uh, we'll review to make sure this is what I want to do, which is distribute 0.1 wrapped ether starting right now uh, for 30 days. And I say, hmm, maybe I don't want to start this pool right now. I actually want to notify my community that it's launching tomorrow. I can go back and select tomorrow at 10 in the morning, 10 a.m. Hit OK. And now instead, we'll actually start on July 5th tomorrow morning. Uh, and so you can set these in the future to unlock at certain points and notify your community and make sure that they're all aware of how they can start earning rewards. I approve wrapped ether to make sure that uh, the contract can actually uh, take and accept my wrapped ether as rewards. And once that transaction completes, I'll fund the, the pool itself with the rewards and it will be, be ready to start distributing tomorrow. We'll hit fund. Another transaction comes up. This will actually send my 0.1 wrapped ether to the pool. And one thing to note is that once these funds are inside the pool, they cannot be released except through the funding schedule. There is no way for uh, the pool owner or even the guys your team to access these funds. They're locked in the contract on a schedule set. So make sure you really double check uh, that you'd like to actually deploy those funds as a reward. And we can now see that our 0.1 wrapped ether is locked in the contract, none of it has been unlocked, it's starting tomorrow, and it's currently in a boiling state, which is our keyword for when funds are available but it hasn't started distributing yet. It will just start to distribute in the future. And going to the Discover tab, we can now see that we have a pool that is available for people to uh, find uh, by searching. Here, wrapped ether, 0.1 wrapped ether, launching tomorrow. Users will start to be able to um, invest in this pool, stake tokens, and earn rewards. Wrapping up here, Geyser is a platform for all sorts of incentives. It's also a platform for investing. We want to empower build builders with the tools to create robust and rich and safe to use distribution capabilities, while also offering investors to find great opportunities to deploy their capital and earn rewards in a safe manner that's completely transparent. We're really excited that this is a V2 launched in June of 2021 and can't wait to bring this capability to the Polygon network as well to really expand all the places that users can take advantage of the Geyser platform.